During uh, the pandemic and when COVID hit and lockdowns happened in many countries, our customers had to transform their business into a new model. So retailers had to go online fully, touch full deliveries had to go touch less, and delivery networks were congested during the time. So loads of things were happening simultaneously that put a lot of work on us to make sure you could use other networks and connect new carriers and change the services on the fly. And we saw uh, dramatic increases in volume overnight. We were all woken up to the fact that whatever plans you had, you need to scrap them. And that means you can't have prestige in your old ideas. You need to give them up. And, and the sooner you can give them up, and the sooner you can move into the next sort of level of innovation and, and, and solutions, the quicker you can come to a new outcome. And if you tie yourself to an old mast, that means you, you actually stand the risk of going down with the ship. Centero's mission is to empower our customers, and we help them grow. Our goal is to help them be impactful in, on their mission, so we help them become better. Since delivery networks and supply chains are so critical for, for trade and business in general, there's a big job to be done for many of our customers, and we're fortunate to be part of helping them become better in that space. I think the world has never seen this amount of uncertainty and change any time before. Many things that happened during the pandemic were a major disruptions to supply chains across the planet, and I think we're still living in the residue of that. The uncertainties we have in front of us will be impactful for many years to come. Our company centers around one thing, it's enabling great people to do great things. We have experimented with organizational design a lot, which has led us to the many top placements of great place to work throughout the years. At the center of that is the team, which is responsible for working with the customer. They have all the mandates and all the tools and all the skills to solve the problems of it at hand. There's no decision hierarchy, no approvals that need to happen, and they're fully liberated in solving some of the toughest problems you may have, like how do we distribute vaccine in the COVID situation? How do you get medical spare parts to an x-ray machine on time, and how do you connect those networks to get that done? People are at the focus of our strategy. It's how fast they can solve the problems and come to a new business outcome together with our customers. That's the only thing that matters. Protecting the planet is essential for Centero as it's part of our core values. We can see it in how we demand our suppliers to have sustainability on their agenda. We can see it in how we power our buildings. We can see it in the materials that we build our houses in. But it's not only what we do internally that matters. 17% of the global emissions are caused by transportation. It's our responsibility to make sure that we empower our customers to have sustainable growth. In order to reach your targets, you need to start measuring your data. Regulators and governments count on ISO standards to be a basis for better regulations. By the end of this year, an ISO standard for calculating greenhouse gas emissions on goods transport will be published. And we have been part of that global group. This means that we have been part of developing the standard. We have given our comments and input based on our experience of doing these types of calculations. But it's also given us the opportunity to be in the room with globally established experts and hear how they have different issues that are differently important based on the regions they represent. One of the big problems at hand that many of us face is how you calculate CO2 emissions and greenhouse gas. We've decided to take on that challenge and come up with something that helps our clients and using machine learning and new technologies to optimize the footprint that our customer has in their supply chains. Our emission reporting product enriches your shipment data with emission values. This means that you can track your emissions, you can report on your emissions, and you can identify different hotspots where the most emissions arise. We believe that in the future, emissions will be just as important as time and price when you choose your delivery options. That it will become a necessity to optimize your network on emissions. And it will simply become more important to reduce all these static business rules that makes cause for unnecessary emissions. We can simply not afford it. We need to make sure that our customers are aware and that their customers are aware. Just imagine a future where you can decide in a checkout what delivery options you want based on either time, price or emissions. 
I think all the leaders out there need to reevaluate their view of their current business and how they feel about that. And I think the capacity to tackle change is critical to deal with the challenges at hand and those we can see on the horizon. I want you to ask yourself, where are you on this journey? Are you in the forefront? Or are you in the back seat?